Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gris. Uh, this is a GSC with the Core Gaming Channel. I, in the last episode, got a new power, um, which allowed me to kind of glide, double jump, hover, um, as well as, if utilized with the combo of butterflies, can launch you very high into the air. So let's, uh, let's jump back into this game. It always feels like a fairly large adjustment coming back to this game because um, a lot of the mechanics are not just like things you passively. Um, what do I have to do? I gotta maybe break this so the butterflies out? Yeah. Um, it's not one of those games that you uh, like realize the buttons immediately. You come back into it and you're like, oh yeah, that's what the buttons do. Um, so I always struggle with that just a little bit. Can I get over here? No? Okay, I just thought I would check. Oh. Well, damn. Alright. I do kind of love that, um... The game is very uh, exploratory. You kind of have to learn as you go. Oh, um, so you really have to pay attention. Oh no, screw that up. Um, I wonder what you have to do to get out. Uh, I think you have to skip that one and go like right here. Oh no, not quite. Hmm, interesting little puzzles. Oh. Oh crap. Oh no. If I had just been a little bit more patient. Okay. Let's get back up here. So wait till this is about to disappear. Oh, there we go. Jump up. And wait for this one to about to disappear. Jump up. Alright. That one required a lot of patience. It's not one of those you can just kind of bust your way through at all. Oh, so gorgeous. I just love this game. Like, this game, oh my god, there's like a multi-tiered butterfly puzzle. Oh my goodness. What is this? This is amazing. How cool is this? So I'm back to sorrow. Sadness. Sounds like anger too, to be honest. I've definitely realized, just, you know, reflecting on the game. Oh? It really panned outwards, why? That's interesting. Um, that the game is all about emotions. What's over there on that right side? Doesn't that right side look important? Maybe not? Maybe they're all important, I don't know. Um, I think either way you kind of, yeah, you go through the same setup. Um, but anyways, the game's all about emotion and the music plays into the emotion. It, I think it wants you to feel for the game. I love the artistry. really focused in on those butterflies there. I guess this is, yeah. Typically when it focuses in on stuff like that, it's like, by the way, the other way's a dead end, so don't even try. Okay. Oh no. What am I doing? I don't understand what I'm, what's happening here. Am I running from the bird? I mean, it was pretty scary. All these dark butterflies are bad. No way. I 
I don't understand what this bird's purpose is. Is it meant to... You can't challenge me, bro. I got square form over here. You don't realize who I am. Feels like the music um, is giving me like this drive to play. I feel very impacted by the music. Like I, I'm in a hurry. I, I need to get to my destination. Oh, did a very bad job on hitting that. God, it looks so cool. Get out of here, dude. Really? You can challenge me in square form, huh? Hmm. Probably should have let it blow me that way, huh? know what the purpose of this bird is. Is it is it meant to be a manifestation of my fear and anger? Is it meant to be uh, just a boss for whatever reason? I don't feel like they would create something without a purpose. Get out of here, dude. Like, everything has a purpose. Everything has a meaning. Could just be really reading into this game way more than necessary. Mm, come on. I'm just gonna let that bully me. Nope, not today, dude. Okay, so you have to ride the wind of that. It's reaching nightmare. Now, I didn't land on the square. I think maybe you're not supposed to also. There is that possibility. Okay. Mistakes were made. So, even if you land on the square, I think the best method is to potentially try to make the entire journey... Definitely not possible to make the entire journey. You have to land on the square. Crap. All right. Well, pro gamer right here. Mistake after mistake. Again. Uh oh, music's changing. Why is the music changing? There's always a reason. It's not just like happenstance that the uh, that everything changes. There's always a reason. I'm telling you, I, I love that there's always a reason. I think they put a lot of time. A lot of thought, a lot of 
effort into not only just game mechanics, but the thought and the feelings, emotions tied to everything, uh, philosophy, psychology. They just they really cared about making this game about more than just being a game. Oh. The bird is a good thing? Okay, am I the bird? Is the bird a part of me? I guess that I definitely felt like the bird was a representation of my own maybe anger or um, fear. But I wasn't too sure. Okay, so definitely got some regular normal birds in the scenery. Alright, what's going on here? Oh goodness, what's going on? Are we back being enemies? Oh, we're friends, dude. Apparently not. I didn't realize you could land on that bell. Maybe like Venom, it's a representation of um, my character's fear and anger, and that would make sense why it would be relating to Venom from modern pop culture. I don't know, man. Don't ask me where I'm going in this video with these these thought process thought processes. I just think it's really interesting. The game. Um, has a lot of unique philosophies to it and just designed in a way that most games uh, they, they don't put this much thought and passion and creativity into it. Uh oh, do I get another? Come on, give me another color. Give me another color. Oh, that's so beautiful. literally get whole body chills like my arms are just covered in goosebumps oh it's all down my back it's so amazing i love it the game is so beautiful and passionately done i, I don't know i'm probably gonna stop right there since i discovered the color blue um what a great what a great game um i can't say enough positive things about it i think the whole raven thing, the the bird thing that screaming at me, and now the color blue also with the representation of rain. Maybe that was like anger, and I know red seemed more of a color for anger, but um, you know it seems like there's been a, a lot of emotional turmoil throughout the game. I don't, I don't know. Um, 
don't know, green seemed like carrying compassion, but then we got to the end with the butterflies, which butterflies were black, so maybe that's like darkness, the darkness inside of her. I'm probably putting way too much thought into this whole process, so, um, anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, um, and you enjoy these videos. I hope, you know, I'm planning on playing this game fully to completion, and, uh, uploading all the videos for you to watch, you know, fairly in sequential order with, you know, a little gap in time frame between them. So hopefully you enjoy them, and you really enjoy this game. If it is a Steam game that you're interested in, or a game out there on one of these platforms, you should pick it up, because it is, it is a journey. Even watching it, I feel like, wouldn't give you the same impact as actually playing it. So if you do watch it all the way through, um, you still want to play it. I would imagine you still get the same type of... Um, lost confusion along with this, uh, I don't know, this overwhelming emotional experience. So, thank you for watching, hope you have a great day, and, uh, if you like this video, like it, subscribe, and look at my other content if you're interested. Have a great night.